Hi everyone, Mrs Baines here. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm missing you all. And it's my turn to read the next part of our story from George's Marvelous Medicine. And I'm going to read you chapter five, which is called The Cook-Up. In the kitchen, George put the saucepan on the stove and turned up the gas flame underneath it as high as it would go. George! came the awful voice from the next door room. It's time for my medicine. Not yet, Grandma, George called back. There's still 20 minutes before 11 o'clock. What mischief are you up to in there now? Granny screeched. I hear noises. George thought it was best not to answer this one. He found a long wooden spoon in the kitchen drawer and began stirring hard. The stuff in the pot got hotter and hotter. Soon the marvellous mixture began to froth and foam. A rich blue smoke, the colour of peacocks, rose from the surface of the liquid and a fiery, fearsome smell filled the kitchen. It was a smell unlike any he had smelled before. It was a brutal and bewitching smell, spicy and staggering, fierce and frenzied, full of wizardry and magic. Whenever he got a whiff of it up his nose, firecrackers went off in his skull and electric prickles ran along the back of his legs. It was, a won it was wonderful to stand there, stirring this amazing mixture and to watch it smoking blue and bubbling and frothing and foaming as though it were alive. At one point, he could have sworn that he saw bright sparks flashing in the swirling foam. And suddenly... George found himself dancing around the steaming pot, chanting strange words that came out into his head out of nowhere. Fiery broth and witch's brew, foamy froth and rich's blue, fume and spume and spoon drift spray, fizzle swizzle, shout hooray. Watch it sloshing, swashing, sploshing, hear it hissing, squishing, spissing. Grandma, better start to pray come back tomorrow for the next chapter. Okay, bye for now everyone.